Yo, 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 yo. Peace, peace, family. Peace, peace, family. Welcome to another edition of what we call in the reality's tip on earth. Black power family. Black power to all the oppressed Africans in the world. To all the uh, oppressed Asiatics in the world. All the black man is God. Power to the people. Power to the people. Yo, yo, yo. All right. Man, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, wow. Power to the people. Pow. Huh. Power to the people. Huh. Malcolm X. Malcolm X, brother. Malcolm X. Okay. What we gonna do here? What we gonna do here? Oh, above all, brothers and sisters. Huh. Above all, brothers and sisters. Oh, man. Peace to the ancestors. Peace to the ancestors from the sky. From up under the earth. The universe. The ancestors, brothers and sisters, is with us. Giving us that fire. Backing us up. Everything this peck of wood. Everything this cracker took from us. Yo, yo, yo. Power to the people. Yo. Our ancestors, the spirit of the ancestors, they're going to give us everything back. All the white people. All the white people. Y'all going back into slavery. The same thing y'all did to us. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. The ancestors is going to turn all this around. Bringing y'all into slavery. I already know which white people I want for my slave right now. <laughs> Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Power, power to the ancestors. The ancestors, the light. That bring in from the darkness the melanin. The power coming through the third eye. Ay, 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 ay. Coming through the third eye. Bringing us that, bringing us that strength. Yo, all right. Power to the people, ancestors in the house, giving us what we supposed to have. White man, I said white man. Do, do, do. Yo, time. Is 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 up. <laughs> oh man, it's funny, funny stuff. Now you know what gets me. We want to talk about the ancestors. <clears throat> now, I want to raise some questions. <laughs> I just want to raise some questions. So. This God favors us. And I don't know who has the, the most strength. The ancestors or God. Which one? I don't really know. Because you call out to God. Allah, Yahshara, Yahweh or whatever. They call out to God. But also the ancestors have power. And they're going to bring their power. And... Do all this miraculous stuff. Okay. Now. We always say. Our ancestors going to do this. Now mind you. They're, they're dead. They're, these, you, they're not talking about living ancestors. They're not talking about me. They're not talking about you. They're not talking about your grandma. They're talking about some dead folks. They never met in their life. These people, mind you, when they were alive, got their ass kicked by the Europeans. Oh, I'm going to say that again. When they were alive, they got their ass whooped by Europeans. But suddenly... They are in the spirit realm. They're in the spirit world somewhere floating around. I don't know where the hell they at. Now that they're dead. They're going to come back. And give us power. To defeat. Beat up. The children. Of the people. That kick their ass. Are, are y'all following me. On, on the logic here. The, 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 the mindset. What gets me is. Why 
white people or Europeans, they also have ancestors that die and they go to the spirit realm also. So while your ancestors who are dead, who you never talk to, you never talk to these people, or I don't know where you're getting this information from, but that's your belief. So while our ancestors from the spirit realm going to come and do something, all this miraculous stuff for us, what are their ancestors going to do? So while, so while our ancestors from the spirit realm is going to come back to the physical realm to give us land and, and prosperity, whatever it is, what are their ancestors going to do? Sit back in the cut and say, hey, we was wrong. Go ahead and do that to our descendants. Our... The whole thing don't make any, the whole thing don't make any sense. It might make sense to you. <laughs> it don't make any sense to me. Now all this obsession with the ancestors. Now here at the Realities Temple on Earth. The only thing we do here. Is remember. And give honor. To all. Those. Who came before us. Whether they was kings or queens. Or janitor or a crackhead, or whatever the hell it was in life, we just remember and give honor to those who came before us. No more, no less. I don't expect them to come and do nothing for me and you. That's on us. If there is a spirit realm, they cannot help us. Him. Like those who who were the ancestors when they were alive didn't do nothing for them. Him. So you have all these people and when they talk about the ancestors they talk about the ones you know scientists uh, doctors, uh, scholars poets, uh, something to, to make you feel good. Because that's all black conscience and all this blackity black stuff. It ain't nothing but church. It's just nothing but a different kind of church. And folks is coming up with all kinds of different stuff to make you feel good in church. It's just a different kind of church. It's a form of religion. Religion doesn't necessarily have to be involved in the belief in some kind of God and all like that. This is a belief system. This is propaganda. This is a belief that you believe in religiously which makes it a religion. Now mind you, all this fanfare over the ancestors, these same people don't get along with their mama, they don't get along with their father, cousins, brothers and sisters, they don't even they don't get along with their next door neighbors. Oh, the ancestors, the ancestors. The reason why you get along with the ancestors, cause they're dead. That's why you get along with the ancestors because they are dead. If they were alive, you would have to talk to them like you talk to me. Your next door neighbor, your mother, your father, your cousins, and other people around you. And they might say something you like, and they might not say something, they might say something that you don't like. They might do something you don't like. Just because somebody is your ancestor does not mean that you're going to agree and want to live like they do or believe what they believe. Just because they are ancestor does not mean you want to be like them. The whole, this whole ancestor belief, this, this mindset that we have about the ancestors is insanity. It is wacky. We love Malcolm X. They love Malcolm X because he's dead. There are people who was living when Malcolm X was living 
They wanted him dead. When he was living. The reason why many of us. We like Malcolm X. Based upon this narrative. This picture that we paint. If we knew him personally. You might not even like the man. This ancestor thing that we have going on. It's so false. It's so phony. It's so fake. So here we are. You can't get along with your next door neighbor. You can't get along with your, your cousins or your brothers and sisters. But you got all this love for some dead people that you never met, don't know anything about. How is this logical? If I cannot love my mama or my cousin in Texas, or my cousin in Louisiana. I cannot love the actual biological blood relatives I know about. How can you come on YouTube? How can you come out here and talk about the ancestors that you never met? And they didn't even live in the United States of America. They live in some unknown African place. Hundreds of years ago. 5,000 years ago. A million years ago. Whatever it is. We need to stop this foolishness. It's stupid. I'm going to remember the ancestors. But I'm going to learn. And I'm going to love you. Because you are alive. Because you can help me. If I'm stuck in a ditch. I can reach out to you. Hey. Do you have a chain? Do you have a tow truck? Help me get my car out this ditch. You can pray to the ancestors. These dead ancestors that you don't know. Forever. You're not going to get any help. You're not going to get a slice of bread. You're not going to get anything. I want to know the living. You have your ancestors in nursing homes and you have them in prison and you don't hear or see people making videos going to the nursing homes or to the jails of their own relatives. You never hear them talk about visiting their relatives in prisons or jails or their relatives in nursing homes but they're going to talk about dead folks, ancestors they never met. That live on another continent. I can't do that. Now those of you who can do that. More power to you. But that's what happens when you go to church. Because church gives you something to believe in. Make you feel good. It's like taking a drug. Get you high. And that's why you got to keep chasing it. That's why you always got to hype yourself up. You got to try to maintain that high. Because it's temporary. So you got to keep chasing it. Because it's a temporary and it's a lie. The ancestors. You got all this love and respect. For the ancestors because they're dead. And you have no respect. No love. For the living. Grave robber. Y'all necro. What they call it? Necrophiliacs. Necro, you suffer from necrophilia. You love the dead. How you going to change your condition? A living person obsessed with the dead. I don't get it. Jot down your comments. Comments, explain it to me. And let's talk about it.